Apple launches pre-orders of the iPhone 5C while the 5S has some constraints. Rumors of Samsung building yet another Windows Phone emerge. And speaking of Windows Phone, apparently HP wants to build one as well. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I'll refrain from all these Friday and beard jokes just for you all to miss them for next week. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with, uh, wait, what news of the day? Insiders from the New York Times have recently interviewed people after this whole change with Microsoft buying Nokia. And as it turns out, these people have revealed that the company tested Android Lumias way before they made the deal with Microsoft. So as it turns out, you could have had an Android Lumia 1020 right now and not a Nokia Lumia 1020 running Windows Phone 8. But sadly, that is history. It's not gonna happen anymore as Microsoft bought the company. But leave us a comment down below. Would that have been a good phone you would have been waiting for or would you just like the Lumia 1020 with Windows Phone 8? And believe it or not, next up we're going to talk about HP. And yeah, we're talking about that company that totally killed the compact iPad lineup. And that's the same company that bought Palm only to kill it and then destroy WebOS and sell it to LG for TVs. That is exactly that same company that is now rumored to be working on a smartphone and apparently they've been working on this for a while. And apparently the device is going to be running Windows Phone, which is kind of odd judging by the fact that we've got a couple of tablets from HP. HP that run Android. So this is just to give you an idea of the disparity of this company owning their own operating system, which was actually a good operating system, and ditching it for something different. Uh, leave us a comment down below. Would you be interested in an HP Windows phone? I had a lot of Windows mobile phones from HP, and sadly, that was history. Now, in an interesting surprise, we thought that Samsung was pretty much done with launching phones right now, but we've got one reaching the FCC, and apparently this is a Windows phone. And this could be nice because apparently it's going to be an AT&T device, but as we dig into the specifications and we see a Snapdragon 400 processor here, along with some other things that make this phone resemble the Samsung Ativas Neo from Sprint, oh man, buyers beware. This phone came out terrible in our review. Links in the description for that. So let's see what we get if this is another a TVS Neo, uh, don't buy. And now let's talk about HTC. One of the most anticipated devices that we did not get at IFA in Berlin was the HTC Fablet, aka HTC One Max. It's still hard to know why the company did not launch this device at that event, since that is pretty much the Fablet event of the year, as the Galaxy Note 3 was launched there in the 2 and the 1. But, well, it seems that probably HTC is still testing the waters. We've got some leaked photographs of the phone being compared against the HTC One, and we do see that little portion at the bottom of the camera that could be a fingerprint scanner though we still don't know if that's going to be it now there's no denying that the pictures show that this phone is just enormous it is gigantic so it's really hard to see why HTC is building a phone this big unless its software makes or takes total advantage of it so uh, let's see what we get and finally, for the hot news of the day, those of you that are waiting for the new iPhones, well, pre-orders have just begun for the iPhone 5C and not the iPhone 5S, which is kind of interesting. We're wondering why we have to wait until we can pick the phone up on the 20th with the 5C and not have pre-orders for the 5S. That's actually a new thing that had happened before. But anyways, apparently it seems that the companies that manufacture the 5S are having trouble with that fingerprint scanner. Apparently they won't be able to meet demand. Links in the description for the full drama of everything that's going on, but yeah, you can get the 5C. And as it turns out, apparently the only model that has sold out on the first day is the yellow model, uh, which is interesting since we're not expecting for the 5C to be much of a hit. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Did you pre-order the iPhone 5C or are you interested in this phone or are you waiting for the 5S? In my particular case, honestly, for $100 and for all the added features of the 5S, I'd rather wait for the 5S. But leave us a comment down below. What are you preferring? Friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week.